New greetings of mercy on this special feast day of Our Lady of Mercy. This was the day my dear friend, Catherine Macaulay, opened the House of Mercy in Baggett Street, Dublin, in 1827, as a place to shelter and educate women and girls. I believe you will be having a concert today as part of your celebrations. In doing this, you are continuing a great Mercy tradition. Concerts were one of our favourite ways to celebrate. I loved playing the piano, so I look forward to listening to the music ensembles. I hope there is dancing as well. Do you know our foundress, Catherine McCauley, encouraged us to dance every evening? 177 years of memories and dreams fill my mind as I share your journey and celebrate with you. 2023 is significant for many of you, staff and students, as you leave Mercedes and take your mercy memories into a new stage of your lives. Today, your memories are precious. All you learned, experienced and enjoyed. All your friendships, triumphs and losses come together as you step into unknown pathways. Two thoughts come to my mind and I offer them to you on this day of remembering. Be not afraid, I go before you always. Come follow me. A few words from a song I'm sure you have often sung at your liturgies. And a few words from my friend, Catherine McCauley. We have one solid comfort amidst all this tripping about. Our hearts can always be in the same place, centred in God. For eight years, Mrs. Kerry Fraser has been your leader in mercy. Mrs. Fraser has journeyed with you in compassion, truth, mercy, and with a listening heart. She has, at all times, honoured the 177 year story of mercy education. May her memories give her comfort and strength as she too walks a new journey of mercy. To the year 12 students, go well, study hard and be agents for change. May the mercy values be your constant companions as you shape a world that is more just and filled with compassion. May the work the Sisters of Mercy inspire you each step along your journey. I believe the title Valiant Women was given to the collection of letters of the founding sisters. As I leave you today, I offer you sincere gratitude for the many mercy memories that you, the valiant women and men of 2023, have created and will now take into the future. May you be firm in faith and always immersed in mercy. Just before I died, I was encouraged by my dear friend, Sister Anne Xavier, to record my memories in a diary. I call this collection of memories Sketches of a Conventual Life in the Bush. How I treasure those precious memories. I encourage each of you to start a Mercedes memory box. You can be as creative as you wish, writing, sketching, sculpting or scrapbooking your memories of these precious years you spent at Mercedes. Before I leave you, please know my spirit is always watching lovingly over you. I am forever your devoted and ever-attached mother in Jesus Christ, Arshila Frayne.